What's up guys, welcome back to Voyage RC. I got a wraith. Pretty excited about this. Uh, something I can just beat up on here, out on the rocks and out on the mountain and just not really care as much about as my TRX4 with the blazer body on it. And it's a 2-2 rig, so this will be fun. FYI, this is box stock. Comes with the headlights, tail lights, pretty cool. Um, just add a add a battery. So let's do it. What's up guys, at the top of Falcon Hollow here, I uh, just crawled this thing all the way to the top, just kind of wanted to give you a initial kind of thoughts on how the Wraith works. Uh, like I said, this is a box stock Wraith, the only difference is I'm running it on my DX5C radio. Um, still has all the other stock electronics including the steering servo and the plastic servo part. Uh, <laughs> uh, lights are pretty cool, uh, it's got the reds in the back, the whites up front. Yeah, this thing running on two twos with you know good suspension flex and everything. Um, no slouch coming up the hill here. Uh, my TRX4 with the blazer body on it. Uh, there's some trouble spots, but I mean they're they're two different style rigs. You got a you know rock racer um, style rig here with the two twos on it and everything with no fenders and all that um, versus a scale crawler. Um, so obviously there's going to be some differences. Um, but this thing everywhere where the TRX4 would have had problems, um, this thing handled it like a champ. I didn't have to put a finger on the truck the whole way up here, just drove it. Um, took the right lines and got up the hill. Um, yeah, pretty impressed. Uh, about halfway up, this thing does have a 20 turn motor in it. Uh, they don't crawl very well. <laughs> about halfway up, I did start smelling some uh, electrical heat. So motor is pretty roasty right now, but I'll probably dump a 35 turn in or something just to gear it more towards crawling, get that low end torque, make it better for what I want to do. Did leave that nice do not pull tag on the new Gen Ace battery. Uh, that's a 5002 cell. Um, but yeah, running good. Truck's awesome. I love it. Something I can beat on, not care about. Um, as you can see, it's it's been on its lid several times already. I'm um, just messing around down at the bottom of the hill. But does get scraped when you get it on its side and you're running through a rock face and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, the thing I like about this over the race spawn is the interior and you get the lights. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, nice Corbo seats. You have to get a driver figure in there. So if you know me at all, you know it's probably going to be a Deadpool or something like that. Just to be crazy. Um, but yeah, just want to give you some initial thoughts on how it crawled. Um, didn't get a whole lot of video because I don't like filming video while I'm crawling because I got to drive one handed and I just enjoy it better when I got both hands on this radio and I'm focused on driving the truck. Um, initial video there in the beginning was on my Osmo Mobile 2 um, using the active tracking feature. Uh, with a smaller subject like this it likes to get a little candy wampus every now and then. So I lost track of it a couple times, but you know, it make it work. I'll try to get some more video on the way down maybe with just holding my phone. Um, iPhone 8 Plus, so a decent camera. But yeah, initial thoughts. I like it. Give it a thumbs up. See that? Thumbs up. Yeah. Wraith, something to beat on. Make it a good crawler. Just change the motor out because obviously 20 turns not going to crawl too well. Since this is a rock racer, they want to get a little speed out of it as well. So they put that 20 turn in there. And We'll blow it up before we change it out it's fine you know it's hot when you, you, you can smell it from five feet behind the truck <laughs> anyways thanks for watching try to get some more video for you okay so for example trouble spot for the trx4 blazer this area right here might not look too bad on camera it's hard to 
justify it without being here in person, but there's really a hard place to set the wheels and get a good grip going up this section with the TRX4. Let's see if I can do this driving one handed with the race. So much easier. And she's gone. 